The idea of national opt-outs from GMO regulation is unworkable and ignores the wishes of the vast majority of EU citizens that our continent should remain GM free. The new system would allow countries whose governments are more subject to lobbying from agribusinesses, and I'm ashamed to say my country is one of those, to introduce GM crops as a Trojan horse to undermine the EU ban on this dangerous technology. They will be allowing their own priorities to work against the desires and wishes of other EU citizens, and for this reason the proposal is inherently inimical to the single market and to European unity. Before we vote on this proposal, we should ask ourselves how we come to be here. We aren't voting on an end to the GM moratorium because of lobbying from our constituents. I haven't received a single email from my constituents in the South West calling for more GM crops. We have arrived here because of relentless, high-powered, well-funded lobbying by the biotech corporations who have no interest in our welfare and are simply interested in swelling their own profits, even at the risk of public, to public health. Citizens across Europe have rejected GM and we must continue to respect their view and condemn the specious arguments and profiteering instincts of the agricultural corporations.